Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back with another figure news video. I do apologize that it has been so long since the last one. It's actually been May 18th was the last time we did one of these videos that's why as you can see on dbz figures we're so far back here because we've missed a ton of dragon ball figure stuff i am so so sorry i just i don't know what happened bro it just kind of got away from me um and i was not able to keep up but what we're going to do today is we're going to do a quick recap of the biggest things that have come out in the Dragon Ball figure sphere and then we're going to scroll through the boy Baggy's Twitter because that's what we usually do on this series, right? But of course DBZ Figures covers most of the big things that happen in the Dragon Ball figure collecting community. So we're going to go over that. Let's just hop right into it because we have a lot to go through. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching the last video. It was like 45 minutes and I got a bunch of views, so I appreciate you guys. Now, Let's go ahead and take a look at everything that we have to look at. Um, first of all, this is so funny. I know this isn't too big of a deal, but <laughs> they're making Dragon Ball fans where like you, you know, you it, it's just a little electric fan with all these different logos on it. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, we do also have alternate heads, which we will talk about to this Goku, which if you remember from a couple of videos ago, we took a look at this man uh, who is going to be having real fabric on his figure. I'm gonna be honest with you bro unfortunately it's not looking good but but we'll see we'll see we'll get to that later they did announce a remake of the uh, i believe or of the original sh figure arts piccolo um if you guys are unaware um sh figure arts piccolo is one of the original sh figure arts figures and they are he was like number two or something like that um, as you can see here, upcoming release of Piccolo the Proud Namekian AK Piccolo 2.0, different from its original release, as it has the new joint hips that appear on all recent releases. Which is very, very cool. He is one of the last OG figures to receive an upgrade. Notable changes include his cape, also half an arm since it gets chopped off quite often. His cape also uh, expands and contracts, which wasn't available on the original figure. This retail for 60 bucks, basically. 55, yeah. Okay, we'll release in November 2020. Really, really cool because, again, this guy, I think he was, if I'm, my memory serves, he was the second SH Figure Arts figure. So, very, very cool. Um, if you aren't aware with SH Figure Arts, essentially what they mean with 2.0 and the different hip joints, I don't know if we can open this and even if we can get a good picture on it but basically the older sh figure arts figures their legs weren't as good specifically their hip area and when they made the 2.0 body which kind of became like the standard of the joints for sh figure arts figures they gave a bunch of old figures updates and piccolo is one of those boys that get one so very very cool that he is going to be getting one I don't really care about the Gashapon figures. It's just these basic ones. This, I don't remember if we looked at, um, but this is quite interesting. I just want to talk about it for a second here. Um, this is an official resin statue, as far as I know. Um, let's see. I, I'm pretty sure it's an official resin statue. Um, okay, maybe not, actually. No, it's not official. Well, then we're not going to talk about it. Well, we'll give it a little bit of a shout out. Basically, resin statues are usually um, community made statues um, that are made of, well, resin makes sense right and this one is pretty cool though i will admit it is goku jumping out of this page of dragon ball i really like how they did you know his leg being gray and it kind of looks like he's coming on the page i will say most of the time with resin statues their face is kind of like eh. goku doesn't look too bad though he, he looks a tiny bit off i will say but i'm very nitpicky so he does look good Let's continue though. I, I know I'm kind of speeding through this, but I'm trying to catch up before we get to the newer stuff because we're still in the middle of beginning of June. Dragon Ball Adverge came out. This very adorable um, Dragon Ball Adverge like scenery set came out with, with uh, Piccolo and Gohan. Extremely cute here. Absolutely love this. I might try and pick this up if it's not too expensive. Um, we did also get the announcement of the Figurize Standard Ultimate Gohan, um, which is going to be releasing in November. Um, very, very cool. Obviously, Ultimate Gohan is a character that we do not get too much love for. And it looks like, oh, is this going to be a interesting? So it looks like they're just including a future Gohan head. 
in there. Let's see, do we have any more information? Uh, we'll be releasing November. What's interesting about this is the Super Saiyan head from the future is, or is the future Trunks arc. Okay, right. The huge scar door in the other space. Okay, and about 30 bucks. Nice. It doesn't look like he'll have the missing arm. That's unfortunate. I mean, to be fair, he didn't have the missing arm for part of it. And I suppose that you could probably just disconnect the arm there. I don't know how the model kit goes together because obviously some of the model kits are a little bit different. But I'm sure that you could probably just remove this arm if you really wanted to and then just have the orange there. So you could probably emulate that. But that is very interesting that they're going to be releasing the ultimate Gohan with a future Gohan head. By the way, again, keep in mind, Figure Eye Standard is the uh, Bandai's model kits for Dragon Ball. Moving on, we did also have the pre-orders go live for the SH figure arts Gohan. I don't know if I talked about him before. Um, I kind of don't like how he looks, I'm going to be honest. Um, his images are okay. Um, his face just looks a little bit weird in every single shot that I've seen of him, especially here. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I don't want to click on it because it'll lead to Facebook and then there'll be a whole other pop-up of things, but cool that he's getting a figure i will say i am kind of disappointed on the face even just looking at it in this little preview but to be fair never judge a figure until it's released i suppose but those promotional images are not doing me very well right now so let's move on we have to talk about this man because this is a goku that i hyped up for a while this is the imagination works goku this is that particular Goku. Oh, really, bro? You're going to make me... Oh, okay. Thank God. That Goku that had real clothes is what this figure is, right? We talked about it in a news video a long while ago. I was super excited about it because it was basically going to be SH Figure Arts if the figure had actual fabric on his features. And in my opinion, bro, he really doesn't look that good. Can we click on the Instagram post? Please don't tell me it's going to be some pop up or something like that okay cool should just be pictures he doesn't look that good bro oh, which is a real shame i i know a lot of people were saying that they thought that he looked really good maybe it's just me being again extremely picky with my figures and he is also 1-9 scale, which is cool because a lot of the time they don't actually keep scale for um posable figures I don't know, man. His eyes and face just don't really do it for me here. It just looks a little bit off. His cheeks look a little bit too chubby. His eyes don't look too bad. I will say that is a really cool feature, having interchangeable eyes, because obviously that allows for a lot more, you know, posability and <laughs> literally, I guess, just posability of the face, right? So very cool to see that. I don't know, man. There's just something about it here that just doesn't tickle my fancy. I don't know what it is about it, but he just doesn't really look that good to me. You guys know that I really, really hate when they do like a thick black line around the mouth because it makes it look like a bootleg and they kind of did it here. And then funny enough here, it almost looks like they did too much white and not enough black. <sighs> Such a shame. We'll have to see what else comes out of this line. Because obviously this is going to be the first figure, right? Hair sculpt doesn't look too bad. I will say they took an interesting route with the Super Saiyan hair. It kind of almost looks more like Super Saiyan 2, but it's not. Um, it looks very like banana-y though. It, it, it looks very banana-y. The middle spike too looks a little bit too spiked. I will say I'm not a big fan of the legs as well because what this makes me think is that it's not like a normal figure and then they just put fabric clothes on it. It's literally just the parts that would be plastic are coated in fabric. And maybe it's just because that's not really what I wanted in the figure. But like, it's just not it's not i it is technically fabric on the figure but it's not like he's wearing the clothes right it's literally just slapped on there instead of the plastic or whatever they use for the exterior of an sh figure arts figure right also his kneecaps looks disgusting <laughs> like i know that articulated figures don't always come out on top when it comes to the knee joints because obviously you know clothing and articulating that and making it look good in like a plastic kind of way is really hard to do 
And I think SH Figure Arts for the most part does a good job on that, especially on their newer figures. But this is not the way to do it, man. This literally looks like that these pieces are meant to like be taken off. It literally looks like parts of a Bionicle. Not to mention, right? I just gotta say it, his crotch like on his pants, just the spread, that looks absolutely disgusting. That is not what pants look like. And even when it's normal, it just doesn't look that good. I will say from looking at this, it does show me that there is some good articulation um, at the start of the legs, right? And again, with that much knee bend, that is a lot of great articulation. <sighs> but it's just, the, it, it really kind of flops in my mind. You can let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Maybe if I can get it for cheaper than it's actually going for, because I'm sure it's going to be mad overpriced when it releases, but <sighs> kind of unfortunate, man. Oh, well, though. Nonetheless, we did have the um, Ultimate Variation Dragon Ball Ichiban Kuji go up. Um, this was a sort of re-release of some of the characters from the OG Broly movie, um, Ichiban Kuji. This was a remake of the King Cluster Broly. I did a video on him a long while ago. He's that giant Broly figure, bro, that's like as big as my head. And they basically just gave him a little bit of a rework. Instead of his hand being out, it's to the side here. On um, this image, it's going to be super small. So, oh, well, I mean, I guess it's zoomed in because we zoomed in. But yeah, he's giant, right? He's as big as that figure. And then this is also supposed to be like the Gogeta figure um, from back then, just in a little bit of a different pose with a little bit of different sculpting detail and stuff. So cool if you weren't able to get King Cluster Broly, especially since he's still one of my favorite Dragon Ball figures today. And honestly, it's always good to get more Omen love. The rest of the figures are just kind of basic, I will admit. Um, but this did also release the giant Shinron figure as well. I do really want to pick that man up. Um, this guy is also like as big as your head. <laughs> so definitely excited to pick him up eventually. Definitely go pick him up if you have not yet. Uh, we did have the Gashapon release, which is cool. The manga, um, Tamashi features. Oh yeah. So this was a little video. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Um, they released a little video and also I guess they just kind of talked about um, some other upcoming things. Um, that one more aspect of the event with the exclusive fair offering and an SH figure arts kid Goku, not just saying Goku, they use the SCC exclusive that's here. Interesting. So you're going to be able to get the SCC exclusive kid Goku in the blue key. But they also did do a little video um, with Tamashi around that time as well. This was also something interesting that I wanted to point out. Um, not really figure related, but this is merch related, I suppose. They made a Dragon Ball Z watch. A low key, it's kind of sick. It's very minimalistic. It says Dragon Ball Z on the back. I love the light up orange. And you're probably thinking, well, how is this Dragon Ball Z really? Because it kind of just looks normal. Um, there is a video of it, which if I can find it, I'll link in the description. But as you can see, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is there. And all the different electricity. There's Goku's face up there. There's obviously a Dragon Ball there. It's more of like a minimalistic Dragon Ball product. Jojo has a lot of project, project, excuse me, products. There we go, like this as well, where they're sort of like minimalistic Jojo, but they're still, you know, blatantly Jojo. And this is one of those things where it's still blatantly Dragon Ball, but it's a little bit more low key about it. Still very cool though. Um, this is going to be a disgustingly expensive watch, 250 bucks. Obviously, it is made by a premium company, so kind of makes sense. Um, we do have, oh, everything that's on it. Here we go. Orange Band shows four different artworks from various periods, uh, showing Goku 1 transforming into Super Saiyan for the first time, 2 training on his way to Namek, 3 transforming into Super Saiyan, and 4 teleporting Cell away from Earth. That's cool. The watch itself is in orange color and features the 4 star Dragon Ball at 9 o'clock and the position the Z logo at 3 o'clock. Everything comes nicely packaged in around orange tin, and then there's the price. Nice! I would love to get this, honestly. I don't really wear watches. And I do really like this design, obviously, because again, it's minimalistic, but an orange watch is so obnoxious. Like anything orange, unless it's like just a couple of like slivers on a piece of clothing feels really like in your face to me. So I don't know. This would be a really fun video to do, but 250 bucks. I mean, a watch would be worth it if I actually do use it, but most of the time I just look at my phone for it anyway. If it's waterproof though, maybe I'll consider it. This was really cool though. 
SH Figure Arts announced that they are going to be making a Dragon Ball Z Bardock figure, which I am very, very excited about. To my knowledge, this is the only promotional image. Um, today, during Bluefin's made event, they showed off some upcoming uh, releases, announcing a brand new SH Figure Arts Bardock, most likely releasing towards the end of the year. It's January, February here in the States. The figure looked tiny in the presenter's hands and nowhere on accessories except for the energy balls. We wait for details. 45 bucks as well is definitely a very, very good price for an SH Figure Arts figure. I will will probably pick this guy up i was planning on getting the um figure rise saiyan saga or saiyan saga um dragon ball z rather bardock because he was the only like dragon ball z bardock figure that we have at the moment also i don't even think that they've made a definitely not a poseable figure of super bardock i have they made i think they made like one figure of dragon ball super bardock and an ichiban kuji um, but regardless though, this is great news that he is going to be getting some love. I will say I'm not sure about his face at the moment. Um, this arm joint also is kind of like, eh, but it's not the worst thing. Um, I will probably get him though, especially for that price tag. So hopefully expect a review on this man. Um, but I am definitely looking forward to him nonetheless. Very, very exciting when they always announce an SH figure arts figure. It's kind of a character that like, not that Bardock's not popular, but like a character that you probably wouldn't expect, right? Very, very nice though. We did get these new mercenary Tau figures. Oh boy, these guys. Um, these are the, uh, I believe, Sofub, Sof, Sofubi figures. Um, these guys are dummy expensive, as you can see there. <laughs> That's a lot of money, bro. And these guys are actually like giant, even though they're chibi size. I know it's kind of hard to tell from these images, but these guys are actually like super big and super expensive. I wouldn't recommend getting them for the price because I don't think that they're worth it. Um, I mean, I guess if you're a super big mercenary Tao fan, maybe, but like it's still interesting to see all the different kinds of things that the Dragon Ball franchise pumps out in terms of merch. Now then, moving on. Um, the only other thing that we have uh, would be the release calendar. Um, I will probably throw this in the link in the description because this is just the June release calendar for when everything comes out. Also um, organized by price, which is very, very nice because we're not going to go over all this. We're going to hop over to Baggy's Twitter now. Um, but again, if you want to check out the release calendar, um, I think this his name is Rob, right? Who runs the website? Um, it's by this guy, Super Namekian, this time. So, oh, Adam. Okay, well, I think Rob is the one who owns the website. But thank you guys, nonetheless, for uh, putting all together the news and, of course, uh, the schedule. Because that is really, really cool to be able to know when everything's coming out. Because we don't have to go search for 50,000 websites to try and find it. Anyway, moving on. So, we're going to start back to where we were before um, with Baggy's Twitter here. Um, I'm not going to dawdle on too many things here because we are already pretty far into this video but we're gonna go through things quick um these two figures did release the maximatic goku and the um girls launch the glamour glitter and glamour that's what it's called um launch figure i will say this is a very nice base form goku figure um again i'm not big on base form goku's figures because there's so many of them already but this is one that looks really really nice i will probably pick that up at some point uh, moving on, we do have, oh yeah, the, the towels that came during May. They made more towels for the Ichiban Kuji, which is great. Um, History of Rivals packaging for the small prizes. These guys just kind of come wrapped up. Um, and as well, the cards. This was the set, by the way, that had that, um, Master, Ro oh, I guess it's technically Jackie Chum, but the Master, Ro oh yeah, it was both. Master Roshi figure and the Krillin figure in it, so... Very, very cool that we're getting that. Um, or the, that's what the packaging looks like anyway. The Wafer Secret Wears. Wears. <laughs> very, very cool um, that they decided to go ahead and pick these guys. Obviously, these three are kind of more popular characters, but super cute that they did this wedding one. And honestly, I love the chibi design. Seeing these two, especially in this design, Bojack just looks so dumb. I love it. Um, but nonetheless, though, it's always cool seeing that they like to do Dragon Ball figures in a different style. And obviously that comes from our wonderful wafer stickers. I'm sorry if I'm rushing a little bit again. I, again, I'm just trying to kind of cover everything and then we'll get closer to um, the newer stuff here. Here's what the history of Rivals packaging looks like. Um, very, very cool. Um, and that's funny. The Baggy you Knows first time where the movie logo has been used in a while, it feels. Um, because they are... Uh, yeah, where it's been used because I believe they use it here. Yeah, on um, Broly, which makes sense. He's obviously he's from the movie, right? Cool that they didn't use it on anything else, though. This makes sense for Dragon Ball Super, I will admit. 
This still doesn't make sense because this isn't Dragon Ball Super Yamcha. I don't get it. But nonetheless, though, that's what the packaging looks like. Very, very nice. Kuji always does a great job styling their packaging. This is the last prize Yamcha, by the way, with the Poir figure. Really, really, really want to get this figure at some point. Problem is, he's super, super expensive because I would love to get him and Poir because I do like this color scheme a little bit better than this one. So we'll see. Only time will tell if I'm able to pick him up. Obviously, you'll see a review on him if I do, but I would really, really like to get him. That's what the packaging looks like. Um, this was just a late figure, so we're not really going to look at that. Uh, moving on. These two guys did release overseas. Now, UI Goku, hey, he's all right. He's cool. But this Jiren figure I have been talking about for a while. This is the first Jiren prize figure, at least to my knowledge, that we have ever gotten. Which is crazy to think that also they didn't put them on right. There's a gap there. Bro, just shove them down. It's not that hard. Crazy to think though that we have not gotten a Jiren figure until now. Absolutely insane considering the anime ended what like three something years ago? Am I, four? I, I don't know. I don't remember. Nonetheless though, he looks great. Again, obviously he'll look a lot better when they put the figure together properly. <laughs> but he looks great. The sculpting on Jiren is great. Obviously, since this is supposed to be full power Jiren, very super buff, right? Looks fantastic. They did a great job with the figure. I'm so glad they didn't mess him up because I was really looking forward to that guy. Um, you can see that this is the Maximatic Goku. This is a very interesting way uh, to do the foot base, as Baggy points out here, but it looks really good for launch. Um, it kind of highlights the figure's overall style. It looks good. It's not too much in your face like they do with a lot of other stands, though I will say launch does look a little bit derpy here. Maybe it's just because of the proportions, but her, her face looks a little bit like chubby-ish. I don't really know how to describe it, but it kind of looks, it looks a little bit odd. Um, a Maximatic Goku looks great. This also kind of tells me that he should be able to stand up on his own is what this looks like because there isn't a stand here unless they have a special stand for him here. But nonetheless, though, he looks great as well. I'm glad that they didn't goof him up. Um, this is not a Dragon Ball figure, but I still th figured I'd throw this in here because this is the um, My Hero Academia Hawks figure. This guy looks fantastic. When I catch up on My Hero, I might have to pick this guy up because... Whew, that sculpt is nice, bro. I just wanted to throw that in there just because the figure looks so nice. Anyway, um, we do have the History of Rivals minifigures out of the box. It is kind of unfortunate to see that they um, are sort of low quality. I guess I should have expected it from Ichiban Kuji. But as you can see, right, Broly's paint here is kind of eh. You can see that the painting on his eyes. I mean, it looks all right. Um, but this sort of look on a minifigure just makes it look kind of cheap which is especially disappointing considering how high quality they looked in the promotional images but i guess what can you do it also kind of looks like there's a scratch on broly's eye here but like the paint just looks very like matte and it looks very like it almost kind of reminds you of like paint that would be on a chinese boot like <laughs> besides that though i will say broly's face does look quite nice um despite the use of paint Moving on, um, we do have more picks of Jiren. Of course he's good though, because he notes here that the boy Hiroriki Nakazawa did go ahead and make this guy. I don't know why I said go ahead. He made him, right? Um, Nakazawa is a fantastic figure sculptor. Um, you guys know that I have been a huge fan of his for a long time, and I think he looks great. I will say in person, he does look a little bit less purple. Which isn't so bad because even though he's here in the gray, he does some kind of times look purple. I don't know. But nonetheless, though, he looks great. The shading, sculpting, and all the little scratching and stuff like that on him looks pretty good. Um, I really, really like this Jiren figure. The bag looks kind of goofy, but interesting that some of these people don't really, um, you know, kind of like not like it. I will agree, though, that the paint does look a little bit weird on him. Um, nonetheless, though, still a very great looking figure, especially for Jiren's first figure. Please don't be anything bad, bro. Just go back. Thank you. I don't know why it's not uh, it's not working with me here. All right. Well, I guess we're going to scroll. Sorry about that. What? Spoily oilies. <sighs> I don't like to edit these videos because since they're a lot longer, they take so long to edit. Um, or take so long to edit, rather. They take so long to render when I can just upload the video, right? And I don't think that you guys usually mind this. Also, now I can give you a little bit of insight as we scroll down to where we were before. Bam, look at that. We're already here. Wow. Cool. All right. So 
Moving on from our boy Jiren. Oh, yeah, we're, we're right here. We're right here. Moving on from our boy Jiren, um, I'm very, very excited about his figure. Um, we did get more pictures of the launch figure. She does look a little bit better from the top. I will say her smile looks a little bit goofy, um, but here is the other launch figure. She does look a little bit better, though I will say her face looks kind of weird on the actual figure. Um, nonetheless, though, um, we do have some other Dragon Ball Adverge figures um, that did get delayed. These boys, which were the uh, Dragon Ball Adverge motion figures. Um, I believe these have actually come out now because I've seen these two in the store before. Um, the store that I usually buy V-Jumps from. Nonetheless, oh yeah, this was um, Baggy talking about how the last price Yamcha is currently like $90. Um, I believe he was like, oh yeah, he's going to go down in price. And then I think throughout the month he actually didn't, which was kind of funny. Oh, thank you, Mario and Luigi. Hello. <laughs> that was a lot more wholesome than I was expecting. Really? All right, we're not going to click on anything now. If, if we're really going to be done that dirty, bro. I'm sorry that you have to go through this. You know what? We're just going to go from the next two scrolls one two perfect all right so we're already back here um we do have some pictures of the last prize yamcha um besides that though we did get uh where did that go am i did i literally scroll past it again yeah these guys um this is the only green jumper trunks interesting okay i thought that was something else my bad anyhow um, we do have the last Azaru uh, um, Vegeta being released overseas. Um, unfortunately, not the case. Um, and he's actually talking about like the actual one because there's no picture of him yet at this point in the timeline, but we will get there. Um, he is soft golden uh, like Azaru. I have a feeling it will be released. But basically, um, he was just kind of speculating here. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing a very good job of, of doing this right now. Forgive me. We're going to take it a little bit slower from now going forward nonetheless though um these two figures came out for asia um the goku that was kind of like displayed from the back which i was like um all right ish with and then the uh masinko gohan which i was kind of like eh um not too bad though i will admit he's very basic um i do think that his face is a little bit goofy but he's definitely not bad um, this was the photo shoot uh, for the creator x creator Bardock. He looks so good here I will show you that we will be getting some other figures of him later or some other figures some other pictures of him later Right now on to Yamcha. So this is I believe the last prize Yamcha actually um, Because the color scheme looks a little bit closer to that forgive me if I'm wrong on that But nonetheless, this is Yamcha's sculpt. It looks really really good. I will say um I was really, really hoping that they weren't going to mess this man up, especially since, you know, we haven't had a Yamcha figure in only Kami knows how long, but he turned out really, really good. Obviously, the base is kind of an Ichiban Kuchi standard with a big clear block on his leg, but honestly, he looks great in my opinion. They did a very, very good job with him. Realistically, no complaints from me. I'm sure you hear more, though, during my actual video. Um, moving on though, this was the creator x creator Goku out of the box. Not really a big fan of this guy. Also, he's kind of small, um, which is interesting, but I wasn't really a fan of this guy from the beginning and honestly, I'm not really a fan of him now. So kind of unfortunate on that one. Um, this set also didn't get delayed, which was very, very nice. We will see some other great promo images for that later, um, because that set is also very, very cool. Uh, this was the... Ultra Instinct Mastered Goku. Um, he does look a little bit better. Interesting that his sculpt kind of looks a little bit better than Goku. Maybe it's just because of the color of the skin that they use for him. It, it, it makes it look a little bit less cheap. Um, again, not my favorite figures, to be honest, especially of UI Goku. Not awful, though, I will say. And here's more pictures of Jiren. Um, interesting that, like, here... Yeah, that, he looks so sweaty, bro. Interestingly enough, he does look um, a little bit more purple from the front in this lighting. So, kind of interesting. Maybe it just depends on the lighting that you have him in kind of displays different shading. Because from different pictures that we've seen, he kind of looks a little bit more like whoa, gray. And sometimes he looks a little bit more purple, which is interesting. 
This was the Broly figure that I was talking about a couple of videos ago. Um, this guy is the Legends collab Broly, and I think that he looks actually really, really good. I am very, very excited to get him because I will probably be picking him up. This is the Dragon Ball Adverge set that we kind of skipped over on the other image, or on the other website, rather. Obviously, this is all um, Frieza Saga stuff, which is really, really cool because they don't always do, um, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to say like minor characters, but it feels like we don't get figures, especially of Dende, but Bulma in this outfit, Krillin in this outfit, and especially the boy Purunga, stuff like that. Very, very cool though to see all this stuff. And if you want to create a full scene, right, you can definitely do that because you have all the figures to do so now. So that's really cool. I might actually pick up some of these guys. And there you go. Um, there is the scene recreated just by the promo images. Very, very cool. Obviously a little bit odd with some of these guys kind of looking... Uh, just like stale i suppose right like they just kind of look like very static but again that's sort of the adverse line and again their their expressions are supposed to just kind of be generic so cool though nonetheless i will say um we do have these guys also being released on one base which is awesome because if you guys remember the bam presto version of these guys um they had the ability to be displayed on one base which was super super cool um, also a cleaner render of that. We also saw pictures of this, but here are some more pictures of it for you. Some more high quality pictures, also getting a little bit of a better angle of Gohan. Cool that they actually changed his clothes as well for the different colors of this. I really, really like that. Kind of not a good price though. As you can see, 240 bucks and these are not that big. Um, they are very detailed and they are very high quality, but definitely not worth the price tag in my opinion if you can find them for cheaper definitely though um he was talking about toei's 2021 calendar um i also commented on this i forgot about that this looks like a lot of new art to me which i just thought was interesting to point out um also the kuji prizes that were coming out at the time these are more towels and hand rags again so funny to me seeing that merch gets made into merch which gets made into more merch right we have dragon ball and then the wafer stickers which are just like chibi dragon ball you know like stickers and then they make those into a bunch of other things like this hand towel which i think is so funny they're literally making merch out of merch here they did it again with broly obviously a bunch of these are also different iconic scenes from dragon ball this one does feel very out of place i will say compared to this which is kind of interesting but nonetheless these were also pretty cool these are like little art boards I don't know how I feel about the art on a lot of the human characters in these. MUI doesn't look too bad. I will say Shinron probably looks the best. And funny enough, they put the boy VB again from the wafer sticker set on one of these. They're really trying to hammer home making other merch of the wafer stickers, which I think is so funny. But yeah, that was the minor prize that came out with the Kuji. Um, oh boy, Limit Breaker Cheer and it's going to be released in October. Yes. I will be talking about this line at some point in the future. This is a cheaper Dragon Ball figure line. I only own one of these figures, and funny enough, I own the best figure in the line. And I really don't think that this line is that good still. I still have that video on the back burner, so I'll talk about that line a little bit more in that video, especially when I get my hands on another one of these figures, because I do want to buy one uh, maybe for a little bit cheaper at some point. These are definitely meant to be more so figures that a child would play with, right? Rather than, you know, a collectible, though they are still a collectible. Susan, I'm watching you, bro. Don't you dare. Nonetheless, though, I still feel like they could be better quality, especially with the face sculpt. Like, I know Jiren has a very simple expression, but like, I don't know, man. It, it, it feels a little bit bootleggy. You know what I mean? Now. Moving on to some of the big guns here, bro. We do have the Super Master Stars Peace Goku with the end of DBZ outfit on. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. This figure looks absolutely fantastic. I am so, so excited to get this guy in the mail. I have already pre-ordered him a long, long time ago. There are... Four different versions of this figure there is the regular version the brush version the manga version and the black and white version i think i got the regular version i might actually sell it and get the brush version just because the brush version is so cool or maybe i'll just get both i don't know because the figure is just that good <laughs> fantastic figure obviously um the 
Um, I believe he was the fan winner of the World Figure Coliseum figures. Nonetheless, though, whatever he may be, wherever he may come from, I mean, I mean, you know if you've been watching this channel for a while, because I've been talking about him for a couple of news videos now. I, I, I'm just saying this all because I'm trying to hype you up and hype myself up because I love this figure so much and I don't even have it in my hand yet. He's so good. He's one of my favorite figures that I've ever seen in terms of Dragon Ball. Moving on. We do have some overseas packaging glimpses. Interesting. Obviously, we have the Ichiban Show logo there. Not too much to take a look at there. Um, they did also show the packaging for this set with the Dragon Ball Adverge motion, uh, which is just taking Dragon Ball Adverge and kind of making the figures a little bit more dynamic, right? Wafer figures also unfortunately delayed. Again, when I was talking about that, they make mad merch from these wafer figures as you can see they have these boys um in or wafer figures rather sorry wafer stickers as you can see we have our boys in figure form down here um they don't look too bad obviously this goku is based on the design of the sticker and the rest of these are also based on different stickers i would love to get jiren because his enormous head is so funny to me but they don't look bad Baggy talking about his stuff ah okay so we can take a little bit of better look of this gohan figure I guess this face doesn't look as bad looking at it up close, but I still feel like his eyes are way, way too big for this figure. Um, this head, I will admit, does look pretty good, but it doesn't justify the rest of the figure for me. This face, I will say, funny enough, is probably my favorite one, only because they got the eyes the right size on this figure, or on this, on this figure, on this faceplate, in my opinion. If they all would have been this size, I would definitely would have been a lot more happy with the figure, but it just feels like that the eyes are way too big. You can see it a lot more on this figure too as well. Obviously he's small because he's Gohan from the Namek Saga, and it makes sense of course too, seeing him next to the Dragon Ball makes him look even smaller, but those eyes were just way too big. I know his eyes are already big, I know anime, big ol' anime eyes, right? But he still looks a little bit too big in terms of the eye department for my taste. Glad that he's getting a figure nonetheless, though. History of Rivals did release in Asia. Uh, let's see. So this was the Shinron figure that we took a little bit of a look at earlier. As you can see, there's the box in the background and for the King Cluster Broly. This guy looks fantastic. I think Baggy has more pictures of this guy later down the line. Such a good figure, bro. I'm so, so excited to get that Shinron. Um, he was talking about his Gogeta figure there. Here is also the bigger image of the box. Um, as you can see, 25k yen, which is like 250 bucks for this guy, which is crazy. I would not recommend getting him at that price. You're probably going to get him for a little bit more. I'm going to be honest because he is a last price figure. And we don't get Shinron 2 figures uh, too often either. But man, does he look great. Very, very excited for that. Ah, here we go. <laughs> this is what I was talking about, that he's as big as your head. This is a size comparison for you in terms of being next to a real human, right? For a good size comparison. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Very, very cool, though. I cannot wait to pick up this figure eventually. We also uh, had a little bit of a Mi Marino that Baggy was talking about here. Um, that they actually looks like they use the same hair sculpt from the Kuji Goku figure that was in the set with the Master Roshi in the Krillin because the figure's hair looks the exact same on both. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe not. It's okay to reuse resources, but that is a little bit like, yikes, bro. Legends collab did also release. It's really, really funny as well that we did uh, not know about these guys before because if you remember to a couple of figure news videos a while ago, um, those two figures were a mystery, but it makes sense now because obviously um, Shala and I, I don't know how to say his name, Giblet, I, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, right? Shala, it's like evil version of himself. I haven't read the story yet. I'm sorry. You can expose me in the comments. Nonetheless, though, they're the two mystery figures, which makes sense that they came out for the anniversary, but still very cool. Moving on, uh, we did have some pics of the UI Goku from the Ichiban Kuji that he was a part of. We took a look at the full set of it later. His face looks good. I think Baggy kind of points out the worst part about it is the gapping, right? It's a lot more noticeable on the silver color because obviously the black just kind of does that with things that look black, right? You can't really tell as well, but this isn't a bad UI Goku figure. I think it's just very basic. 
Moving on, though, uh, we are closing in towards the end. I know it kind of doesn't seem like it at this point. Um, this was really, really cool. So for this Ichiban Kuji set upcoming, we will actually be uh, seeing a little bit of a, a little bit of a teaser or a teaser. We'll actually be seeing more pictures of this later. But that Vegeta is what you should be keeping in mind. This guy is also going to be getting a re-release, which is really, really cool. For those wondering, the re-release doesn't seem to be the original Overseas Limited, but the Japanese coloring comparison in the last pick. This is a really old Goku figure that is based on a very specific piece of Toriyama art, where Goku is firing a Kamehameha upwards. I actually have a shirt with this guy on it. I do plan on getting this guy. Um, I'm really glad they're re-releasing him because I know the old figure is kind of hard to find now. So very, very cool that they are giving my man another shot at existence i guess <laughs> but very very cool nonetheless this was also some really really awesome news unfortunately he is only available for a crane game but the fantastic gx materia kamehameha goku that i've actually done a unboxing and review of on this channel already got a kamehameha version basically they just colored him reddish pink i know it might not seem that exciting but for me it's really cool because we don't often get just base form kaioken figures and even though this is a recolor this figure is already fantastic so i really don't mind getting the kamehameha version of this in terms of buying it myself or it just being released into the world if they're gonna do an alternate color this is how you do it right let me just tell you that right now let's continue on we do have some more hd pictures of this later later being right now oh my gosh bro I cannot wait for this Ozaru Vegeta. My gosh, does he look fantastic? Oh my gosh. Look at this man. I can't say enough good things about him. Obviously, we'll get more pictures as things develop. But holy cow. Ever since they did that Golden Ozaru figure, I think Bandai, like a little light bulb went on in their head. And they're like, wait a minute. We can just make the monkeys into figures. <laughs> and they have been. As Baggy stated earlier, this guy is also going to be made of soft vinyl, just like the Golden Ozaru. Which is a little bit unfortunate, because what that does mean is that a lot of this detail that's on this promotional image will maybe not be on the final figure, because a lot of the detail that was on that Golden Ozaru originally also kind of got dumbed down, which is unfortunate. But nonetheless, it's still really cool to get a figure of this guy. And if it's even close to this detail, look at that, bro. Look at the detail of the pants and the armor and the shoes. This is like an instant buy for me. Once in a while, there's figures that I'll see. I'll be like, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'd be down to buy that. And sometimes there's figures that's like, oh, yeah, I need it. Like the Super Master Stars Feast Goku. That's an I need it figure. This guy, an I need it figure absolutely fantastic i cannot wait to pick this guy up and do a review on him 30 30 centimeters by the way which is huge he's basically as big as the golden Ozar. fantastic figure though i am so <laughs> excited to get my hands on this guy i hope you are too because he looks amazing moving on though this set is interesting because this is a lot of different versus pairs kind of interesting that they decided to throw golden Oz or golden Ozar, vegeta Ozaru as the last prize figure in this set since the rest of them are different versus pairs but i'm not really complaining goku versus jiren ah, goku sculptic sorry his face is obviously super goofy the eyes do look pretty good for mui eyes but i will say they do look a little bit too big and obviously that <laughs> this expression is just kind of goofy i will admit also another jiren figure Kind of interesting that they're doing another full power Jiren figure as opposed to a space or I almost almost said space patrol. That's completely the wrong thing. Pride Trooper Jiren. I know he looks like this in the anime where he looks like his head is so small and his giant body when he's buff, but man, this figure really takes that to the max. Perfect for children and the gamers and figure collectors with no necks. <laughs> I like it. I probably won't be picking it up though because the Bam Presto Jiren that we literally just talked about before this one is superior in every way to this Jiren, in my opinion anyway. 
So I would recommend picking that one up if you're going to get a full power gear. And obviously this pose is a little bit more akin to a certain scene in the anime, but that pose is a little bit more dynamic and I do like it a lot better. Moving on though, we are getting a re-release again of these two. We had a Kuji a little bit a while ago that we actually talked about in this video where they re-released some figures from, or not re-released, I guess they kind of like remade some figures from the original Dragon Ball Super Broly Ichiban Kuji, a Gogeta figure that looks similar to this, and they remade it, gave it a tiny bit of a little bit of pose difference. This set, they're going to be releasing it as a Super Saiyan version, which honestly kind of looks pretty good, even though it's a little bit, it's like banana hair also, but not in the same way that the Imaginary Works Goku was. And they're also making King Cluster Broly again, <laughs> which is kind of weird, I will admit. Um, they've made this guy three times. I suppose that's just a testament to how great of a figure he is, but man, the fact that you can get three different versions of this guy is great. And I know that sounds like really weird to say, especially how I prefaced it that way, but because then anybody who wants this guy can practically get him because there's so many different versions from that you can get. Even though some of the hands, you know, the poses are a little bit like not as interesting on others. They're still all amazing because it's the King Cluster Broly. And the King Cluster Broly is a great figure. The original figure with its hand out, this figure kind of about to clench his fist, right? And the other one with just a basic standard power-up pose. I like them all, honestly. Kind of interesting that they're just re-releasing these guys again, especially since after they just re-released them a couple Kujis ago. But hey, whatever. As well, in this set, I thought there was zoom in better. I'm sorry. <laughs> A Super Saiyan 3 Goku versus Kid Buu. Very, very interesting choice. I like it though, because we don't typically get Kid Buu figures. We do get Super Saiyan 3 Goku figures quite a bit, but Kid Buu we barely ever get. So I am actually pretty excited for this. His pants look a little bit weird, I will admit they look like a boomerang. I don't know, they don't look like they're like high enough in the part where the pant legs would meet. Um, but his body looks pretty good. He looks very menacing like Boo <laughs> does. I don't know. He just looks good in the facial area. His mouth does look like it's kind of popping out a little bit, which will be something to keep an eye out for. But even this does look pretty good, his weird head tail thing. This Super Saiyan 3 Goku also doesn't look bad. He does look pretty basic though. It's interesting that he looks very matte as well compared to all the scratch detail that appears to be on this Boo. Especially how, like simple and sort of stylized his hair is compared to uh, I, I guess this is kind of a poor example but like okay maybe compared to this hair <laughs> you know this looks like it can be from a completely different line so i don't know only time will tell how this guy looks obviously the grandista goku is going to be coming out soon which is a far superior figure to this one but it is good to see that kuji is giving some love to some characters who don't usually get it i.e ozaru goku um, Kit or Goku. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Vegeta. Uh, I got Golden Ozaru on the mind. My bad. Kid Buu and obviously um, Jiren as well. This being only his second technically prize figure. Cool though. Very cool. Very glad to see that they really did my boy good as well. Uh, best sculpt for the main Kuji figures, not including the Zara, bro. I don't know if I agree with that. I'm going to be honest, Faggy, but that's okay. Also, he's just kind of noting here that um, it literally looks like they stole the hair <laughs> from this Goku. And it also kind of looks like they nabbed the, uh, the History of Rivals Goku body for this Goku. But I know that some people kind of have a problem with this sometimes, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal for me. Reusing assets to make a whole new figure isn't the worst thing. It saves them cost. And if it's a better figure than the original, then or if you like it more at least i don't think this one particularly is a better figure than this one or the other goku that this is taken from but it's still worth something to somebody and it's not a bad figure by any means moving on though interesting uh very interesting uh production image colors um with these guys i don't know why they decided to do it this way um this is what i was talking about right this kuji was just released with this gogeta which is literally this one right and then obviously king cluster broly again um you know this is not how the original one looks the original one has his hand out but this generic power pose and now they have him with his hand up so interesting that they decided to go that route um let's see there is a couple more things before we end i know this is a super long video so i thank you guys for sticking with me all the way 
just an interesting post. I'm not going to look at it for too long, but lots of great Gohan figures released this year. Very, very cool. And basically every single iteration. Gogeta SMP, or SMP, I mean, guess kind of, SMSP, Gogeta, and April's Xeno Vegeta is released in Europe now. Um, basically, this is just talking about how they were delayed and now they are released. It's crazy, too, that this guy literally, like, hasn't come out yet outside of Japan. And that other Goku, the Super Master Stars piece Goku, the one that I really love, came out before him, even though he came out way, way before. Kind of funny. Nonetheless, though, um, we do have some pictures of, let's see, Dragon Ball Gals, but I was going to say, um, this Chi-Li is also releasing, as you can see, in June 2021st, so it should be out already. Yardrak Goku is what I'm looking for. Yes! This is his box. He looks really, really good. Back of the box, and you'll also be excited to see pictures. Where is my man? I know we have a picture out of the box. Look at this! They didn't mess him up! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my gosh, you guys know I was really excited about this figure. Obviously, of course, it is taken directly from the Legends art. It is a Legends collab figure, and we never get Yardrak Goku figures. So this is awesome that we are getting a figure of this guy. And I'm so glad that they didn't mess him up. He looks really, really good. Honestly, it looks almost exactly like the original scene. I can't agree with this guy. It looks a little bit different from the original figure that we did see, which also looks really, really good too. But honestly, this angle, maybe not as much, but like this angle, I don't know. I, I think it's perfect. Personally, especially this picture. Woo! It's really interesting to see. It kind of looks like they changed the eye position a little bit, which is interesting to see. It's good though, is the point that I'm trying to say. They, they didn't mess it up, which I'm very excited about. This guy's great. I'm definitely gonna be doing a review of him on the channel. Look forward to that. Let's scroll back down here because I just wanted to talk about that. <laughs> um, as we can see here, Super Master Strikes Peace come already with a fixed uplift under their soles and the foot base is just for extra precaution. Hopefully it can balance without the foot base. This is um, Goku right here. This is whose foot this is. So very, very cool that he doesn't actually need the base as you can see this is the last prize yamcha out of the box um without poir which is kind of interesting but he was talking about how it is um for 60 bucks on this particular website just thought i'd show you this out of the box because this is like the literal angle that's on the box so it's good for you to see it like this it looks good it honestly looks like the original production image which is impressive because bandai kind of fails on that <laughs> This is a little bit unfortunate, I will admit. Um, most of the time, Super Master Stars piece have a window. If you guys watch my recent Manga Dimension Super Saiyan 4 Goku from Super Master Stars piece, you would see that he actually had a window. And unfortunately, he doesn't on the overseas version of this guy. I kind of am afraid that that trend is dead when it comes to these figures because they haven't done that in a while. That is kind of an not older, but like a little bit older Super Master Stars piece overseas thing at this point really stinks but nonetheless the figure's still inside and that's what's important <laughs> um the box by the way for the regular and the manga dimensions version i do like that they used a black and white little difference there very very cool obviously again since he is ban presto world figure coliseum kind of makes sense as well that he doesn't have a window i don't know if they'll continue in the future if they do more super master Shards piece but we'll see we will definitely see now moving on uh that was a gogeta figure that he was talking about can't get over how amazing this looks yeah this was the roshi figure that we talked about this detail is absolutely fantastic we're not going to look too much at it again find out later tomorrow if it's going to be released which should be like literally next um this was also the entertainment earth piccolo and gohan eh, it's okay these figures i've also talked about extensively on this series before i'm not a big fan of them these are more like action figures than anything. I do like the clear parts for Gohan's hair, especially since he's Super Saiyan 1 in Piccolo's cloak. That is super, super cool. But again, not really a big fan of these figures. Uh, also, we got re-releases for these guys in Europe, which is interesting. And also the Sacred Water Teapot, <laughs> which is from Dragon Ball, if you're not aware, you should be. But very, very cool on that one, too. If you didn't pick these guys up as well, that also means you have more of a chance to pick them up. And I know it's like, why does that matter if I'm not in Asia? Or Asia, Europe, rather. That also means that more of these are out in the wild, 
which means that they could also appear more online, i.e. eBay probably in your case, right? So it's just more opportunities to get these guys if you want them. So that's why I always give that a nod. And also I know that some people from Europe also watch these videos too. Cool that they did a bunch of great promotional images for this set as well. We also kind of talked about this before, so I won't take too much of a look at it, but very, very nice that they did a bunch of different like uh, promotional art referencing the Nama, Nama, I almost said the Nama saga, the Namek saga, right, for these guys. They look really, really good. Dragon Ball Adverge figures, again, are always super simple, and they have a certain charm to them, I will admit, and they're not for everybody, but I think they did a really good job with this set. Moving on. Okay. These all got delayed, unfortunately. Um, these were in a V jump a while ago. I believe we took the look at these in a past figure video. Funny enough, these guys did not get delayed, um, but a lot of these figures did, unfortunately. These are also production images for these Ichiban Kuji figures that we saw. I will say, looking at Goku here, at least from the side angles, he doesn't look as bad. Only time will tell as we get to see more regular pictures, I guess you would say, of him. I'm still not really a fan. Jiren doesn't look too bad, though. Again, his overall appearance is just kind of already goofy, so it's not really the figure's fault. But I will say, it doesn't look bad. It definitely encapsulates, encapsulates Jiren's look well. I do like this angle, especially. Honestly, if I were to get this figure, I'd probably display it from that angle. Gogeta as well. You've probably seen this figure technically a million times from all the different re-releases and whatnot, but there he is. I will say another reason why I wasn't a fan of this original figure and this one is his neck looks kind of like weird. I don't really know how you do it for this angle, but it kind of reminds me of that one gif of Goku and Vegeta from um, one of the Budokai games, I think, where they're like rocking their heads. Very weird. Nonetheless, though, King Cluster Broly re-release. Um, I, I guess you wouldn't call it a re-release, almost like a remake, right? But this is a very good version of it. I like this hand pose a lot better than that stale one that we got in that other remake, I guess we were going to call it. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we took a little bit of a look at him. Honestly, he's just kind of generic. I will say, though, Kid Buu, definitely not looking too bad. Um, the back detail is nice because Bandai also always neglects backs of figures so it's very very cool that they actually took the time to sculpt this in because you know well kid boo has the holes on his back so that really makes sense but he looks pretty good i will say again his mouth does look a little bit odd but overall not a bad figure i might actually pick this guy up just because i don't have any boo figures moving on no zaru for europe big f i imagine that he is also going to be pretty expensive uh, creator x creator bardock out of the box this was that bardock that we saw um, a while ago in those promotional images unfortunately he most certainly does not look as good as he did i know we saw that image literally like i guess would be like half an hour if you're still watching at this point but i don't know what they did to this man maybe it's just the paint job they took away all the shading is definitely one thing that i can notice just from looking at it simplicity sim sim looking at him sorry my brain is falling apart it's literally 6 30 a.m and i need to go to sleep i don't know man kind of a shame i was really looking forward to this guy i'm probably not gonna pick him up now he still looks pretty good from the back funny enough which is almost like how he was intended to be posed oh well kind of an l on that one i will admit but hey what are you gonna do as you can see this is the overseas super master stars piece goku um, out of the box they didn't mess him up he looks good <laughs> nothing more to say about that i've been talking about him for literally this entire video yeah like look at this bro this is that same figure that we just looked at look at how cool this looks right look at how amazing this figure looks with the shading and obviously it depends on a little bit of the lighting that they use here but compared to this bro they really dropped the ball on that bardock which is really unfortunate moving on this is the uh let's see i believe this is one specific version of the goku because there are a couple of different versions of them face sculpt looks amazing i will say the colors look a little bit uh interesting on this one um i don't remember if this is the default one or the um brush version nonetheless though i still think he looks really really good and i am so so excited for this figure especially to get in my hand also to this guy because i've you know kind of seen him do like figured not reviews but like 
images before where he's gotten a figure really soon after it released and then took pictures of it and his figures are always a little bit bright looking in the pictures just because he uses like omega bright lights <laughs> so keep that in mind as well ah here we go uh, might be getting a domestic release sooner than expected yeah as you can see this is the original coloring definitely this one looks a little bit greener i'm pretty sure that this is a different color scheme um, than this one Let's keep going here. Uh, you can obviously see the creator, X creator Bardock. Um, this is the two different color versions of this guy. If you guys remember from a long while ago, we talked about this in a figure news video that this guy had two different versions. Honestly, they kind of dropped the ball on both, which really sinks. But oh, sinks, yes, I mean, kind of that too. Realistically, it's just the pants and a little bit of green differences there. Kind of a disappointing recolor, if you ask me. And honestly, again, the figure is a little bit disappointing already. Besides that, though, that is basically everything that we have. Um, unfortunately, this guy is also going to be getting um, released in August, it seems. Um, overseas is one month ahead and should release for Asia. Wait, Japanese release is delayed to August, understandable, since they still have April, May, Balance, and one. Overseas is one month ahead and should release for Asia in July. Interesting. So that's pretty cool. Very, very excited to get those guys, too. I will definitely be picking them up. I think now that's actually everything new besides this guy. That is the one other thing. So they finally released the last prize for the Dragon Ball Legends collab Ichiban Kuji, and it is Super Saiyan God Shalot. Makes sense since, since he just got the Super Saiyan God Shalot transformation in Dragon Ball Legends for the second year anniversary. Er, yeah, second year anniversary. He looks great in my opinion. I really, really like this figure. I'll kind of have to see how he compares to the original because I do like the original Shalot, but this one also looks really, really good. Again, we'll have to see what he looks like out of the production images, but needless to say, I am pretty excited for this figure. And also, I like how they made it SP, obviously referencing Sparking. That's cool. Small Kuji prizes. <laughs> Cybermen. Kind of funny. Um, I do like, though, that they did use um, a lot of Dragon Ball Legends sort of style on these right this guy kind of notes that here and obviously all of these artworks reference different things in legends blue and purple vegeta lf vegito i believe that's green frieza red rose purple gotenks ah uh, blue broly maybe and obviously shala and also referencing that nappa and vegeta kind of trained him right very very cool stuff there i really really like that very nice when they do collaborations with gotcha games because obviously then it's just more merch to collect of well your favorite <laughs> dragon ball medium right also very cool as well to see that these other i believe these are clear files literally every single one of these is a dragon ball z dragon ball z dragon ball legends art you can pick and choose and you know kind of notice what everyone is i'm not going to go through all them because you know it's a lot but very very cool very very cool to see the legends is getting some love in that regard okay i think now besides this right uh mvp or sorry version in japan for brush 20k and 50k as a reminder the cost of lottery ticket was 5k never seen such unprecedented hype for a release before makes it uh the fact that yeah this is still crazy to me so like i mentioned before this guy didn't actually win the bam presto world figure coliseum competition he did win the fan award still crazy to a lot of people that this is the case since this figure is obviously so well loved by the community even before he's come out clearly as you can see that people in japan are already paying 200 for the regular one and 50 or 500 for the uh the manga version right crazy crazy to think that he didn't win but obviously the hype around this figure is clear and i think it's definitely justified Okay, I I'm serious now. Besides this picture of Shala, which is just him outside of the art. I think that is actually everything new. Uh, Gohan, Zeno Vegeta, and the Dokkan Kujis for Super Vegito um, are now releasing for the US. I'm not going to be reviewing these guys. I might get maybe Rosé. I'll talk about that in another video, though. Um, but very, very cool that these guys are finally getting released. I'm super excited about that GX material. Gohan. Ah, this is another thing that kind of uh, I wanted to show, too. Because I was talking about how the quality of these guys aren't that good. And you kind of couldn't tell in the bags. 
but they don't look that good. They really kind of just look like WCFs, right? Broly on the right definitely looks a lot lower quality than the Broly on the left. I will probably get that one just because obviously that moment is so adorable in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. But kind of disappointing to see that these aren't as high quality as the original images kind of led them on to be. And to end it off, or at least while we're getting to the end here, Dragon Ball Z fans, because why not, right? They'll literally release Dragon Ball merch of anything. Um, as you can see here, here's the different dimensions of this Vegito. We've also talked about him in previous videos. He also looks fantastic. And I think that's basically it. As you can see, again, we talked about the delays for all of these boys before. Um, and of course, you know, we kind of have a better look at these guys here. These are, of course, the wafer figures. And this is actually it because this was tweeted an hour ago. Here are some promotional images of those adverge figures that we have been looking at all throughout this time. Very, very awesome to see again that they can go on the same stand just like the Bampresto versions. Makes sense because obviously they're a figure that's meant to be paired together. And that is now actually it. Um, these rubber mascots we also looked at another time in one of the other figure news videos these of course again are based off of the wafer stickers they're really milking these they're really milking these which i don't have a problem with because i honestly love the art style <laughs> but anyway that is going to do it for this figure news video i apologize that this one was so long i will do my best to keep up doing this every single sunday from here on out i will try and actually do one um probably next week sometime because i don't know if we'll have enough news to be able to do a video by this upcoming sunday because obviously this video is releasing on a friday but i hope you guys enjoyed if you made it this far in the video definitely go ahead and comment super master stars peace goku is the best figure <laughs> just comment that i'll know exactly what you mean that you made it to the end of the video i appreciate it if you did make it this far i also apologize for kind of rushing through if i didn't rush through though this video would have been two hours instead of just one hour long so i apologize again for stumbling over a lot of things it'll be a lot more clear and concise coming up if you want to give me some opinions about how i did this video in specific you can definitely let me know in the comments i know this isn't one of my best figure news videos but i wanted to do the figure news because obviously you know i want to keep up with it and i wanted to cover everything that we missed so thank you guys so much for watching if you watched up until this point i really appreciate you I will catch you in the next one. Ebbing you two out. Peace.